So the biggest joke today is an article in the Fox News by um, this guy here, John Moody. John Moody is surprised. He's saying that Pope Francis should stick to doctrine, stay away from economic redistribution. In other words, he should stay with theology and not uh, politics. But, I mean, for him to say something like this is just that show that he wasn't a good student and he still is not a good scholar. Because uh, in middle school, in social studies, they studied the, the Middle Ages and the Catholic Church, how they wanted to rule and, and all the West and the East um, controversy and all this kind of stuff with the Hagia in uh, Istanbul and so on. And uh, also, if you do world history, you study the papacy through the Middle Ages when uh, Gregory and all many of these other popes were contending and saying that the church has supremacy over the kings and so forth. And when they had this king who they excommunicated and he walked in the snow bare feet, kneeling, crawling up to the Vatican or whatever it was, and when they pardoned him and, and everything was straight in his country, uh, his country again, because those people were so backward that when they hear the king is excommunicated, he was almost dead. So he fa he came through, sliding through, and then when he got powerful, I think he, he came back and fight the Pope and, and did something. I can't remember history right now. I could research it, but I ain't got time with that right now. Okay. So um, I saw... Uh, another time, I think it was Cookie Robbins, and she had Gingrich and some other people on television. They talked about the Pope is such a good man or whatever. Now, it could be that he helped them to get positions, and they don't know it's he who helped them. But maybe they're not smart enough, and they got help to get into positions, and so they have a loyalty. And maybe the handlers tell them, go out and defend the Pope. Um, and, and so, look, after the Roman Empire fell, these guys... Uh, and they go through the turmoil. Constantine eventually came and he, he brought in paganism and all this um, stuff that they were doing in pagan Rome and caused the church to have a slacking off because the church was increasing and creating uh, problems in pagan Rome. And uh, the other emperors were killing and it just became more popular because of the persecution complex and other things and, and the numbers exploded. So Constantine came on, he had his vision and his mom was Christian, all this stuff. And he joined the church and brought in Sunday worship and pagan this and that and whatever. And what they were doing really and truly is this. They couldn't exist after the Roman Empire fell politically. So they, they hijacked the church, stay low, and when they got strong, they, they started to peck a peck at trying to come back through the Middle Ages. But you had Charles V and some other guys that you know put them in the place. And so... Um, for this article and all that, for it to be shocked by the Pope, look, the, the, the previous Pope, he had to go because Francis and the church probably thought that he's not moving fast enough to exercise the authority the church has over this world and whatever. Now, I know we got this, they have this, this power and whatever, because in China, Russia, they're backing them down when they were getting um, NATO to go into uh, Syria. And if you remember what's happening, most of the problems in the world, these guys are behind it. They're the true enemy as opposed to the, the Muslims. Okay, they're behind the Muslims and they're behind uh, NATO and, and they bring them together to destroy them, bring the world down, especially look at the Ukraine thing now. This is so classic and this has more potential than the Occupy, which is another thing they might have used, and the uh, Spring Revolution in the Middle East. This Russian thing has the potential to really cause the economies of the world, Europe and North America to collapse. And then, you know, everybody going to be out, fish out of water, and, and then, of course, if he has his media friends who will be talking with him. And then, of course, people want to say, we want Papa Pope to run stuff. But hey, look, this church, I mean, just running a little place over the Vatican, a couple, uh, not even a square mile, perhaps, uh, uh, of area, a couple of folks up there. And he thinks that he's this big politician and this big religious leader. But, I mean, they're not about religion in the sense of coming from God's word and taking you to heaven. They're about politics, straight up. But as I said, they couldn't have existed and they can't talk politics, you know. Uh, he's thinking now that, um, you know, he might be able to, you know, come in and slide in. But, you know, he's going to have an opposition. The only time he's going to get a chance, according to the scriptures, for one hour he's going to rule with the kings of the earth. And that is, I think, after probation. And um, the king's going to realize that he misled them. Because he's going to come on with peace and safety. You, you notice that he's trying that? I think the previous one went down to Lebanon or somewhere around there when the Syrian thing is raging, saying, peace, peace, peace. The Bible predicts this, what they're going to do, peace and safety. And people think that he could bring on peace, safety, and prosperity. And they're going to put him in power and discover that. Uh, but then look, this world has real problems. 
the church and the Pope and all them seem to be fictitious. They think that, oh, they can come and wave this hand and, and, and he shows his holy hand like give you a cover striking. That must be a holy pose. He raises his right hand like, uh, like he's going to strike, you know, um, uh, and whatever. But uh, you know, people can have real needs. Can't pay my bills. I don't have my teeth and so on. They don't have no money. I, I, but of course, the Bible talks of where they can just be giving stuff to the evil people. You can't buy or sell except you have the mark. It is a long story. But coming back to this here, uh, this guy here, um, John Morito, have uh, be shocked by this kind of thing. This is this is this is one more shocking than what the Pope has said. How he's reacting to what the Pope has said. Now on the other hand, you have um, Hannity. And Hennessy's playing a game. You see, Hennessy, I don't think he's that intelligent. The church helped him to get up to this position he's at, so he has to defend them and, and so on. Uh, I recall in the 90s or, or, or early uh, 2000, um, he, when the sex scandal was bursting, he was there trying to, you know, he's playing this and that, but he's basically defending them and he's trying to, you know, let the thing go away. Now, in this case, he brought on three people, a Catholic high guy, uh, some guy from Forms magazine and some former Miss um, thing, but he's not really, really upset. It's just that he's probably trying to take the upset that the, the world and, and and media and politicians might have, and trying to you know sort of dump it down and make it like okay, you know whatever, okay, you know what I mean. Um, this Miss World girl, she again, I don't know if she went to school or whatever, um, where she studied her social studies in middle school and her, her world history in high school. But she's saying that the Pope is such a religious man. He's not about the politics. <laughs> she don't understand that he is a politician. He's running a place called the Vatican. That is a political role. It, it, it is a mixture of politics and religion. That's the only way they could exist. He can't come out straight up as a politician because he doesn't have nothing there to really work on. And this is why they have... Uh, when you become a Catholic once, you can't leave. They're always keeping them in the books because although they're not Christians and they're pagans, they are call themselves the leader of the Christian world. So with this ecumenism and this bringing the churches together, he is one to be in charge. And his whole game is to have a support that people are going to say, yeah, we want him to rule the world. This is about. So when she's saying stuff like that and Hannity playing this game, you know, I, I don't trust him. Okay, this guy here, basically, John Moody, I think that he's serious in that, he didn't study just like Hennessy or or Hennessy should know or he didn't know or whatever. But this John guy mightn't have done his social studies and his history well. And so he is really thinking that the Pope is about religion. Okay? Um this Pope here needs to accept Jesus. <laughs> You'll be surprised though. This man doesn't believe in Jesus. When they talk about God, they talk about his son. Okay, the son of God. You think it's Jesus you talk about? He's talking about his son, or they just shining. They worship the sun. They're pagans. Okay? Now uh, I mean, I must make it clear that the members of the church, many of them, are seeking God. They're going beyond this thing that Pope and them carry on. They're looking to heaven and they want to be with Jesus and they love him so much. Okay, that's what they're about. But this whole nunnery and this Pope and, the, and, and, and them priests and all that, they, they know what the deal is. They are told, this is not about church. This is straight up. We want to rule the world. And you notice he's hiring a whole bunch of cardinals. They have this thing so worked out that they have a hierarchy. The Pope is in charge of the world when they, they pull the religious, the political uh, stunt. And the Cardinal is going to be, you know, controlling maybe countries or, or, or states and countries like in California or New York, whatever. And then he has right down to, you know, um, down to uh, the parishes and whatever. But this thing ain't going to work the way he's thinking. I'm saying that this Pope, I think they can get rid of him soon because he's getting people upset and nervous. And I'm saying for the longest while that this is what he's really about. He's not going to achieve what they think he's going to achieve. Now, as a Jesuit and as a soldier and as a guy who is going to kill with no sweat, I mean, you know, it's not going to happen. What happened in the Middle Ages when they were killing the uh, Huguenots in France and whatever? It's not going to be like that. Obama is not going to give him no permission to kill no Americans. Obama can't do that. Okay? We have the laws here. You have the Congress, the, the state, the, I mean, the... the um, the, the representative and the Senate, you have the court, you have these police. I mean, how do you expect Obama going to tell him you could go and kill Americans because they're following your stuff? So he has a long time to wait. And again, this firestorm that he's uh, risen is another indication, another check to tell him that you don't have this influence that you think you have. And the devil is just misleading you thinking that this is your time. It's not yet. The world has to become more evil. We say about 90% of the world is evil. Which means that they're going to be educated. They go through school, they have a degree, but they know nothing. Okay? You're going to be able to pull them, scam on them. But right now, it's not like that as yet. 
Okay? And furthermore, I, I John Mark Moody doesn't even know that they're subverting churches right now. Okay? They're trying to do the Adventist church and get them in, going into the stuff that, just like the, the, um, the Reformation when folks were fervently going forward and spreading, you get to Jesus and read the Bible and all that stuff, they got them doing something different. And eventually the Reformation was dead. I mean, they did kill him, they did the, uh, you know, all the stuff they were doing in the Middle Ages, the Holy Index, the Holy Inquisition. And these guys don't understand what the Catholic Church is about. <laughs> okay? And so... I mean, I'm amazed that the world is so upset with this kind of thing. But, I mean, you're going to see he's going to come out with some more thing. And, uh, as I said, I don't think he's going to be the one that's going to do it. I think they're going to get rid of him very soon because he's just going beyond himself and um, thinking that the world is ready and the world is only his influence. He thought he had the um, the Middle East thing going real good and he get NATO to go into... Because, you see, they got Bush and them to go into Iraq and Afghanistan crusade thing second bush said the crusade you never want the crusades were never able to hold no place for long and they were and they lost every time okay so you know i mean to me when he said crusades you, you know it's not gonna go anywhere okay it's gonna be a hundred year war and then still you have to go home because it's not gonna happen all right and so obama now is not going in so to get people to rise up to get um gaddafi and to get mubarak and they get some other people and hoping that the conditions that are going to exist after these guys are going to be of such that they're going to pull Obama into it. But I, I, I don't know, um, you know, Mr. Obama's mind, President Obama's mind and what he's going to do and what he can do. But my God is there preventing stuff because he says that unless his people are sealed, you know, hell ain't going to break loose yet. And I think that Obama has two more years and I think the two years are going to go without the drama that the Pope expects so that he could come, you know, um, priest. He got to wait for Jeb Bush. See, if Jeb Bush becomes president, then, you know, maybe the world would be evil, evil, evil then. And maybe he's going to be able to work with Jeb and something happen. Maybe he's going to a whole bunch of wars. The world economy collapse and then he might be able to go and do something. But right now, I think he's just, um, you know, wasting time and figuring that he's all this one. <laughs> I mean, nobody taking him serious. So... Um, media, you don't see nothing from the Pope yet, man. He got some more tricks to play because he wants to rule the world. He is the Emperor of Rome. The people in Italy and others are expecting him to bring the world back to Rome. Take the world back to Rome or whatever. And his name is not only Pope, but he's Emperor. He wants to be Emperor of the world. So watch him as he makes his move.